The easy way, create a Google Map and add it to a web page. Greetings all! Today we're going to review the fast and easy method that I use to create a Google Map and embed it in a web page. First, we're going to type or copy paste the following address into our browser https colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com forward slash maps m a p s I've arrived at the map site now I'm going to type in the address of the map that I would like to create I'm typing in the address of Wake Tech Community College. So now I'm going to click the share button. The share window opens and I'm going to click embed map. And I'm going to leave all the configuration as it is for the moment. You may want to fine tune the size when you create your map. So you know to the left of the embed information you have your size drop down box and that will change the size in the path that you're going to copy and paste. We're going to select all of this iframe information from the embed map area, right click, I'm going to copy it. Now I can lower my Google map area and I have Dreamweaver open. So the first thing I'm going to do, as I always do, when I open Dreamweaver, I'm going to just confirm that I'm connected to the correct site that I'm working on. In this case, always Web140. Site, manage site. And I'm going to double check and make sure that my path is correct because I never, never go any deeper than Web140 on the file path. I'll click Save. And then I'll click Done. And now I see that I'm in the correct area. I'm going to embed my map in an existing page. To prepare to embed my map, I'm going to go down to the area I'd like for it to be. I've already created a My Map heading down here. And what I'm going to do in the My Map area, right below the heading, I'm going to put my cursor. Now I'm going to click on the Insert tab. I'm going to insert a div. I'm going to call this div Map and I'm going to create a new class rule. It's going to be located at the insertion point in my HTML. The name is dot .map because it's a class. And now I want the rule definition to be on my existing style sheet. So I'll click that name and then I'll click OK. And then I'll go ahead and click OK again. I will click OK for the last time to insert the div. So now, already highlighted is the place I'm going to paste the code that I just got from Google Maps. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Paste and I'm going to paste that map in the area. Now we'll see that the map at this point is too large. So when you create your map, you'll want to decide about the size you would like for your map to be and work accordingly. We're going to preview this in Google Chrome. Save all changes. Yes, and we'll see what the situation is right now. We can see that it's too large for the area. There are a couple things that I can do in this case. But the easiest thing to do is to decide the approximate size that I would like it to be prior to creating the map and then create it the correct size. One thing I can do, and you have to make sure that you change these numbers appropriately. I'm just going to split them in half because it's easiest to do the math. I'll make the width 300 and then I'll make the height 225 so that it will fit better in this little area. Now, I'm not styling it at this time because the scope of this little tutorial is just to show you how to create the map and embed it in your web page. So now, let's preview one more time since this time it will fit in the space. I'm saving my changes and there we go. I can see I've created a map and this particular map, because I'm logged into Google, it's 
it's telling me how far I am from my home. Um, if your viewer is not logged into Google, they'll still be able to view the map, but if they are logged into their Google account, they'll get some user-specific information, which is also really nice. Hope you've enjoyed this little mini tutorial. Have a great day.